Hey guys, Janice Vaughn, letting your light shine. All right, we're on episode 52. So my last video that I did, it prompted me to think of something that I had been meaning to tell you guys actually for a long time. And I thought, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to share this. Have you ever been around somebody, a friend, a family member, a coworker, or somebody that said something to you and it just resonated with you and it just like, it went deep in your soul and it, it was like, oh my gosh, that one sentence is going to sit with me for the rest of my life. Kind of like the one sentence my son had said when he asked me the question, I think it was episode, I don't even know, 20, maybe it was less than that, where he asked me, he goes, how much longer are you gonna put up with this bullshit, mom? Um, that was huge for me. But let me tell you something. A, a friend of mine who at the beginning of this relationship with a narcissist in September, her and I were outside and we were talking and oh gosh, I, I, you know, I had just vomited, you know, crying and just like let loose because she's just one of these people that you can just tell anything to and she doesn't judge. She doesn't uh, ridicule. She doesn't question. She doesn't want to know all the details. She just listens. And you and I both know that being with a narcissist, they don't know how to listen. So you share your heart with people that do. Okay. And I told her everything that was going on. And she is still one of my dearest friends today. And one of the things that she said to me that just totally hit home with me, um, First off, she said, how much longer are you willing to put up with this? And again, this was only seven months into the relationship. It was shortly after the journal entry that I had just recorded a little bit ago. And, you know, I thought about it and I was like, well, I don't want to be a part of it because this doesn't feel good to me. Um, even though I stayed for five more years, okay, it is what it is. And I refuse to beat myself up. Like I've said in earlier videos, that's one thing I won't do is beat myself up because um, I love myself and I embrace all the amazing things that I have accomplished. And that's what I put my focus into. All right. <clears throat> so she said to me, you know, Janice, you've endured a lot of shit and I see I see your soul diminishing. I see your smile fading away. I see your eyes just not having that same, you know, beauty that you used to have before you met the narcissist. And she said, I'm really concerned about you. And I just lost it. And I said, girl, I'm concerned about me. Because at that moment, seven months into the relationship, I had already known that I was losing myself. And I didn't know if it was because I had lost total control of who I was. I mean, as, as stupid as that sounds, going from being very independent, very strong, um, making own decisions for myself, and just always just being my, my right-hand girl myself, when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, that stuff just kind of goes by the wayside. and. Um, it, it has everything to do with the fact that the narcissist makes you question who you really are. And I it, mentally in my mind, I knew it was wrong, but then my heart was saying, okay, well, you know, it's give him another chance. And it was just, I'm like, I, I would pray to God all the time. Like, what is going on here? Cause I'm like getting this devil angel thing going on. What the hell do I do? Um, but my friend looked at me and I'll never forget the way that she looked at me. And she looked at me in the eyes and she said to me, she goes, Janice, there are plenty of people that would love to treat you nicely. And I was like, wow, she's right. There are plenty of people who would love to be in my company and who would love to hang out with me and who would love to be kind to me and who would love to be loving to me. 
And that statement that she said, that one sentence, never, ever, ever left me. So as I was getting ready to do my escape from the narcissist, not only did I pray every day, like a mother, holy crap, did I pray. Um, I did I am affirmations all day long, every day. But I also thought about that sentence that she said. There are plenty of people that would love to treat you nicely. And I, to this day, I, if that helps any of you guys, please say that within yourself because it helped me so much. It did. And I ain't gonna lie, there's years, well, well, there were years, there were months, there was weeks, there was hours, there were seconds that I would say to the narcissist, you know what, you're, you're just, you're incorrigible. Like you're just rude. And I go, there's plenty of people that would love to treat me nicely. And that statement that I said to him always just, oh, you know, I learned not to say it because it would send him in a rage. But now looking back, I understand why it sent him in a rage because he couldn't treat me nicely. And the fact that somebody else could treat me nicely just rubbed his skin the wrong way. It was like putting um, salt in a wound because narcissists don't know how to treat other people nicely or kindly. They just don't know how. It's all about them. It's about what they feel. And, you know, I, I, just, I just felt the need to share that with you guys because each one of you deserves with every ounce of your being, like every, every particle of your soul to be treated lovingly, kindly, respectfully, and supported in anything that you do. If you're not getting that, if you're not getting any of that, you're not with the right person, okay? Um, I know that many, many people have to work with a narcissist. Um, that's difficult, okay? Because, well, you have to go to work to make an income to provide for your family. I get that, all right? It's, it's you're a hardworking person. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, is it worth my soul to go to work to collect a paycheck to be with somebody who is so disrespectful to me? And it's not easy to switch jobs, but you have to come to the conclusion that either I'm going to be happy for me or I'm going to continue to allow other people to to determine my happiness. Okay. Um, and I'm sharing that with you guys because I know that a lot of people have, you know, private messaged me about working with a narcissist. I get it. I get it. But you're replaceable. You are so replaceable. And so is your boss. Your boss is replaceable, which means that you can turn around and go find something better. And you will, you will, once you put your mind to it, do not stay stuck in a job that you are unhappy with. There is no job on this planet that is worth that. Don't look at the I can't, look at the I will, okay? Because too many times we sit back and go, well, I can't find another job. Yes, you can. You can. Absolutely, you can. In fact, you're probably going to find a job that pays more, gives you less um, hours to work, and gives you more vacation time. But you've got to step out of that fear, okay? The fear mentality will stop you every single time. Get your faith back. Get your strength back. No matter how little it is, if you have one ounce of strength more than you did yesterday, you're at progress. It's those baby steps I was telling you guys about, okay? So just keep in mind that you, you, nobody else, you are in total control of your destiny. Total control. Nobody else gets to determine your path. You do. But you have to accept it. And you have to say, I am going to do this. Okay? So just remember, there are plenty, and I mean plenty, millions, hundreds of millions of people that would love to treat you kindly. Okay? You're going to gain friends along the way. You're going to gain people in your life that you didn't even know where they came from. 
I mean, that's, that's where I am in my life. I, I'm just like, where do these people keep coming from? I mean, these people are amazing. I don't go a day without smiling from ear to ear. I mean, I just, before I did this video, I hung up with one of my newest dear friends and he is a hoot. Oh my gosh. He just, I, I, I had tears from laughing so hard. It's so fun. Um, but anyway, you guys own your self-worth and know that you're in a deep hole right now with the narcissist, but you know what? You don't have to stay there. It's not going to, you're not going to stay there forever. There's no way in hell because you are strong. Okay. And you got this. All right. I'll be back soon with some more videos and, uh, here we are in Arizona, freezing my ass off still. What is going on with this crazy weather? I want it to be like 80. I need a suntan. <laughs> That's why I have my fire on. All right, guys. Mwah. Love you all. You're amazing. Thank you.